Okay, so Manly Seals, Manly Warringah Seals finished sixth last year in in the NRL. Uh, got the finals footy and completed postseason. It's good. I think they overachieved. If I'm being fair, I think they overachieved. Now we've got to look at their key players. I've singled out a couple of key players that stand out, have either come in recently in the last couple of seasons or have been there for a long time. Sherry Evans, the Dravojevic brothers, Uate, and Tapal. Marty Tapal, Uate. There you go. There you go. All right. Also, they're bringing through the Lussick brothers as well. So there's two sets of brothers that have been brought through in Cherry Evans, and then you've obviously got Marty Tapal and Uate. Now, they haven't got a lot of depth outside certain positions. If So if, if, if the younger, if Jake Dravojevic goes down or Tom Dravojevic goes down, either in the pack or at fullback, They've got problems. If Cherry Evans gets knocked, knocked about, which he has been a lot in the last couple of seasons, he's had a lot of injury issues, that's a problem. Their failure to attract Kronk or Pierce, either player, when they were available, is an issue. So their, their recruitment needs to be looked at going forward. Now they've got four months. They have a decent squad number, amount of players. They've got around 30 players in the squad. It's the quality of the players in the squad. I fear if they have injuries like they have in previous seasons, they will not make the eight. I'm not going to predict, I've tried to predict, I've done some predictions where I think teams may or may not, and I don't think they make the eight just yet. If the season was to start tomorrow, and looking at all the team squads, the signings they've made up to this point, Manly, with the way certain players are playing, do not make the top eight. Just looking on the, the availability of players, I think certain players overperformed, the Travoyevich brothers well, have been overplayed, and they've had a lot of them between them. They've had injuries, concussions, and ankles and knees. Cherry Evans, his knees and ankles constantly get injured. So, three key players are playing wounded basically regularly. And if they are to go out for long periods of time, who fills in in that position or the positions they play? That's the issue. I don't think they've got the quantity, they don't have the quality, and that is going to be holding them back. Plus, their ground is also a public park. Brookvale is a public park, six days a week. When game day is on, it's Sea Eagle country. But when it is, any other day of the week, it's a public park. And that is most crucial because the pitch cuts up regularly. When it rains, and rains heavily, which it does do in Sydney quite regularly in, in the Australian winter, um, it becomes a little bit squelchy. It's not the worst pitch I've ever seen. 10, 15 years ago, that would be classed as a good park to play on good field to play on. Now, with the way groundsmen have evolved, or the, the, the skill of the groundsman has evolved to a point where you can put out almost a carpet, just a green carpet that's beautiful, their pitch is the worst in the league. It is the worst in the league. Um, has been bad for a while. Drainage is an issue, the fact that it's also used as a public park. Um, so there's that issue as well, which has been raised many times. Um, their squad depth isn't there at the moment. They have time to bring in more players. Look at Canterbury. They've got a lot of squad depth and a lot of people. If they follow the Canterbury model and go near to the cap now and get done for this following season, they should be all right. There is still four months to get signings. Look at the Super League, possibly, for a young English player. They they could do that. There are some young English players who quite happily could fit into the Super League. You've got to look at what's available. Jermaine McGilvery was, I think, the best player in the tournament of the World Cup. Maybe Valentine Holmes could push him for that. He would fit in perfectly in any NRL team. But the fact that Manly have failed to sign big name players when they were available, it doesn't matter what position. It could it could have been, I don't know, um the Ross dog, you know, Nathan Ross at Newcastle. He could have been available. Hypothetically, they wouldn't have signed him. They failed to sign Cronk and Pierce. Crucial. That is crucial. And that I think is damning of where they're at. I think they overachieved last season. If you look at previous seasons, they haven't won the Grand Finals since 2011. They have dropped down. And last season, they did really well. And I'm not disputing how well they did. Other teams had other had injuries and suspensions and other issues, and they capitalised. But I think they overperformed, and they, they might have, this group of players might have already peaked. So they've got to look at possibly bringing in some more players. Possibly. The players they brought in are good NRL players. They're not star players. That is the thing, they're not star players. And Sherry Evans, for his age, he's only 28. Surprising, I thought he was younger than that, but he is 28. He's got a lot of miles on the clock, and he's had a lot of injuries. The Travoyish brothers, for their ages, a lot of miles on the clock, again, a lot of injuries. So for any of these key players, and there are other players in the squad, 
to PAL, for example, Syrian, if they are to go down injured, and their key, average, they're, they're average, they're good players. To get to the NRL level, you've got to be decent if you play one game or a thousand. Well, a hundred, or not a thousand, a hundred games. Let's not get stupid here, it's not ice hockey. One game or 500, you've got to be good. Cameron Smith level, or you're just in there for the one, two games, and you go back to reserve games, you've still got to be decent at what you do. If any of their players get injured, they have a severe depth issue. They really do. And that could hamstring them. Leave them hamstrung. That is the problem. So it's trying to get the balance between youth and experience and depth. And they haven't got the balance there quite right. They will still be a competitive side. It all depends how their season starts because they have been you known to have slow starts and bad runs of defeats and go on long stretches without a win. And that has happened in recent years. It's all about how they start the season. Auckland Nines is in about a month and a half time. That's a key little number for how some of their fringe players may do. And then season starts in April. Um, are they ready now? No. Give it for once? Possibly. But I still think they're missing one or two key positions with depth and one or two star players that could raise them up. thing is they've overpaid players like Jerry Evans. Yes, he's a damn good player. He hasn't quite lived up to that star player billing. Um, he's not quite at a Cooper Cronk level. And I don't think he ever will be. He's still a damn good player. Let's not knock him. But he's not a Cooper Cronk. And I think that's what Manny were trying to get was a keep Gronk, move Cherry Evans to six, run from seven, and see what would have happened. Didn't work, they didn't attract him. Same with Pierce. Try and just move it around a little bit, see if that helps Cherry Evans' game, move him to the other side of the pitch, rather than seven to six, and see what would have happened. Didn't happen. So, the next issue is keeping hold of the Travoyevich brothers going forward for the next couple of years, and keeping hold of, of the Lusick brothers coming forward, because they're the next big thing. It's keeping hold of their youth and their talented youth. But leaving it at that, at the moment they don't make the eight. If the season starts today, they would not make the final three. If it starts in April, I don't know. There is time to sign and move the squad around a bit and their roster. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.